good morning guys welcome back to my channel right now it is about 5 30. i've been up for about an hour give or take i think i got up about 5 35. oh my god wow um but basically i've been studying trying to do some euro questions because Right now, I'm having a difficult time trying to balance um, working in the clinic and coming home to study or waking up early to study. So I'm just trying to get this balance since it's still my first week. Um, it is now Thursday. No, it is Wednesday. Oh my gosh. It's Wednesday, May 26th. Um, I don't have to be to the clinic on Wednesdays until one o'clock. It's like from one to seven or eight, give or take. So um, I'm actually gonna study right now and I have brunch with a friend around 10 o'clock. So I'm trying to do as much study as I can, catch up. And it's also Memorial Weekend and it seems like I'm gonna be inside studying. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to doing my questions and then I'll catch you guys up or catch up with you guys later. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're moving, we're making progress. Right now it's, eight, it's about 8 o'clock and um, what I'm about to do is, is log all of my patients. So it's a patient encounter log. Um, as you guys know, I'm in family medicine and every patient that I see basically I have to log it and put like their diagnosis. So for example, um, one of the ones on my list that I've seen already was hypertension. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to put any patient information. Of course, I have to respect HIPAA. Um, but I'm going to just basically put the diagnosis um, and probably some like small information about like treatment plan and things like that that we did. But uh, we have to see like a list for each rotation. So for family medicine, it's stuff like hypertension, diabetes, um, hypothyroidism, anything along those lines, even asthma, wellness checks. And uh, surprisingly, I've seen about, I want to say like 16 patients already. Let me see, by myself at least, um, basically going into the patient's room, getting a history, uh, the complaint, trying to figure out why they're here, doing any kind of physicals that's necessary. Um, yeah, so I'm going to basically log all those patients in. And once I get them logged in, I'll get back to doing some questions. Uh, I still have a lot of firecracker to do, and um, I'll probably do more your questions later, but I still haven't touched my Anki, so I have so much stuff to do today. And that's why I said this weekend is going to be crazy. I have a quiz on Friday over some of the stuff that we've been try well, supposedly doing. And I have a lecture tomorrow from 10 11. And it's weird because the lecture, I'm going to be at the clinic during the lecture. But it is what it is. So I'm about to get back to that. And then it's on to breakfast. I'm off the bed of I'm on the doing shit that's going to make me elevate. Only walking around and it's going to make me better. All right, guys. So I am currently... In my car waiting uh, for Chestnut to get here. We're gonna eat at Jet Runway Cafe. It seems like a really nice cool spot. Like I'm gonna show y'all inside. I looked on Instagram. I've never been here before and I don't think he's been here before but we looked on Instagram and it looks real cool. So I'm definitely gonna show y'all inside. Um, just an update. I did get a lot of studying in. Um, I was pretty happy about how I'm starting off with my questions. Family medicine questions like I mean everything is covered. OB, um, internal medicine and it's just a broad range so you, you're talking about diabetes hypertension then there might be a hypothyroidism over here and then over here it might be uh, someone has like lung can cancer so it's such a broad um, field so far I'm enjoying it obviously this is only going to be my day three when I go in at one um, but it's actually I didn't expect to be so excited um, for family medicine because I, I feel like people make family medicine seem like it's just like kind of boring and it's kind of like the field that people go into when they don't score high on step which I disagree with I think people uh, a lot of people go into family medicine because that's just what they like so anyway that's a whole nother spiel for a whole nother day um but yeah so I'm just waiting on him I'm kind of hungry so hopefully this food is good and then uh next time y'all see me after being in here and stuff like that should be at the office because yeah, I gotta go to the clinic right after this. So yeah, I'll see y'all then. Bye. 
All right, guys, I'm here with Chelsea. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm, I'm still recording. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and tell us something about you. And then give us your um, Instagram handle so they can follow you. Something about me? Yeah. Um, I'm Sharonda's only friend Ooh, in South Florida. But they already Her saw that. Friend. They already saw that I went out with two other individuals. Right. That doesn't mean <laughs> they're your friend. No, who will not then and We about fifty thousand strong with the job from foreign. It's time to execute operation job involvement. We need a seat to represent the job in Parliament. No make me lose my patience. How was the meal? Oh, the sun is bright, boy. Huh? How was the meal? It was actually good. Like if I was to rate it from uh, one to 10, I'll give it maybe what? 7.25, 7.25? 7.25, that's what I think. What you going with? I'm going with a six. A six? It wasn't Ooh. anything special to me. I could have did that at home. That's what I'm saying, it's average, you feel me? So then five? No, because Look at five people in the background. Be you know, five wouldn't be the best, and I feel like five would mean that it wasn't really good. I feel like it's doable. You feel me? Okay, so it's I'll, a six point two five. Okay, I'll give it a. Six. So we out here taking a picture, y'all. Listen, we don't, we never take this. <laughs> we never, we never take pictures together. I don't think we have any pictures together, really. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Look at my chin. All right. All right, we actually have to go. I need to go ahead and go to work. So we'll check we'll check in on Chustin another time. All right, y'all. Bye. Be blessed. Follow him on Instagram. All right, guys. It is currently 8:27 um at night. The clinic was amazing. I didn't get to record. I, I mean, I you, I can't really record because of HIPAA, but um, man, I mean, it was patient after patient. Like it was awesome. I love it that way because time like really flew by. When I first got there after leaving um, breakfast with Chustin, I was so tired. Like I had to go to Starbucks and get me a caramel macchiato. And then um, once I got to the office and it was like fast, 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 it was like pretty cool. So basically what happened is as soon as I go in, um, well, one of the techs or the nurse will come and they'll bring me a patient's chart. And once they bring me the patient's chart, I go into the room, I do a whole history, physical on the patient, try to figure out the complaint, um, any other concerns, symptoms, questions that they have. I take care of that. I then leave the room. I uh, let my attending know what's going on with the patient, my thoughts on diagnosis and medications. And then she'll either tell me, all right, that sounds good or let's try this medication or let's try this. Um, and then after that, we go back into the room with the patient and we basically come up with a plan and go for like whether they need labs cause we do labs in the office. Um, we also do like pap smears and things like that, uh, mammograms. So like every time I would leave a patient's room and sit down to start charting, they would come and be like, you ready for another one? And hand me another uh, file. Another one. By the end of the day, I had about um, three to four charts after the last patient had already gone that I still had to um, complete and update and things like that. And basically in the charts, like you're literally doing like the review of systems, you're doing the HPI, um, past medical history, family history, and things like that. Uh, and then of course the plan, medications, making sure everything is good in the chart. And then what happens is, is um, the attendant basically signs off on it and um, reviews it to make sure it's good. But it was a good day um still didn't get much studying in after I, and right now since it's like late i'm gonna go ahead and shower and go to bed and probably wake up around 4 4 30 to get some kind of studying in tomorrow i have to be to the office at eight and then um i have a didactic or like it's basically a lecture um, where the attending basically like talks about a topic. I have that from 10 to 11 at the clinic. So during that time, I won't get any patients, um, but right after I'll start back seeing patients again. So it's not bad, but 
yeah it's been awesome and i've been learning spanish um um one capale creole so i speak creole and i see a lot of the um the haitian patients and it's really cool because they're i don't know i just like enjoy um being able to speak creole with them and stuff like that but yeah i am gonna just i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning because i need to really sleep so i'll see y'all around 4 4 30 in the morning to study i'm still trying to figure out this balance and how i want to do things and study but yeah tomorrow's another day it's another day to save lives it's a beautiful day to save lives if you know where i get that from put it in the comment section or whatever <laughs> all right good night good morning guys it is currently 5.03 and uh, I've been up for about 30 minutes just trying to get ready um, for the day. What I'm about to do is just go ahead and study. I'm really tired, but I'm going to go ahead and study. I'm trying to catch up because I do have class or didactic today at 10 to 1 or 10 to 11. What am I talking about? And then I have um, a quiz tomorrow. So I just want to be prepared for it and get ready. Um, it doesn't count towards our grade but it can affect our grade if we don't do them or they think that we are, we're not taking them seriously so it's annoying but i'm gonna make sure i get it done all right i'll catch you guys later All right, guys, it is almost 5.30 in the morning. I've been up for about an hour trying to get situated. I'm actually going to Atlanta um, tonight. I booked my flight yesterday, so I'm like all over the place trying to get ready. But anyway, I was unable to vlog yesterday because we were so busy in the clinic. And um, first impressions, again, family medicine. I'm loving family medicine. Um, I don't know what I want to do in regards to specialty so it's really been like i guess like not having a specific specialty going into rotations it's kind of a good thing because you're not like just waiting on that one rotation to come you're open to everything so then everything can seem like you can have an open mind about it so i feel like that's where i'm at right now in regards to like my favorite patients i've seen so far um when it comes to like diagnoses of course i've seen a lot of hypertension diabetes um and stuff like that but i've i, I met someone um, with hypothyroidism so that was pretty cool to like explain um tsh and how it sends the, the signals to your thyroid in your neck and then you know um your t3 and t4 is made and things like that um so that was awesome i did see a young guy with benign prostate hyperplasia, which is rare to see that unless like there's a genetic cause in the end. He had the um, a urinary retention, unable to, um, uh oh, the bladder felt full, things like that. And even like after he'd go and use the bathroom, the stream was very weak. So all the signs of like BPH. Um, I got to see some UTIs due to um, diabetes. So the sugar, when the sugar gets out of control, then obviously that can affect um, a dip, what, a many parts of your body. So anyway, family medicine so far is amazing. First week is almost complete. Nine, what? Um, I'll be finished with my first week from like 12 hours from now. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I guess I didn't expect it to be so busy. Like as soon as I see one patient, I sit down and then they bring me a next file. But I think that's the good thing about it because it is going by like extremely fast. Now, the bad thing about that is I am still behind. I have a quiz today and it's probably going to be bad. I'm just going to, you know, prepare for the worst, hope for the best kind of thing. Um, we do our quizzes on Firecracker every week. But anyway, um, I have not completed many. Like, I haven't done much of a Anki, which is like basically flashcards online. And um, basically, I'm going to like halfway through my rotation i'll probably tell y'all what i'm using to study for family medicine because i feel like i'm all over the place right now and i don't have a system i haven't even gone to crossfit this past week so 
and that's what I'll do once I get into a rhythm and kind of fill out fill it out but yeah this is going to be the end of the vlog um and if you stuck around this long I really appreciate you like comment and subscribe and we're going to have so much more um coming out and I say we but it's just me <laughs> so yeah um if you have any comments any questions um or suggestions on how I could balance my time here doing um, my rotations, please let me know because I am definitely open and need some help. But yeah, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you.